Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, gonna do some some more uh, one-handed camera tricks here for you today. Um, what we're looking at here is my H bridge. Um, if you'll notice, I've got all three of these gates uh, tied together uh, right here with these uh, 1K resistor. Uh, this side I didn't tie any resistance to right here. I ran it through a capacitor in series, uh, you know, positive, negative, uh, variable resistor. Uh, back down here to <coughs> my negative side of uh, this LED, and I've got a 220K or 220 ohm resistor here. Uh, on the positive side of going to going from here this is just so that the board and everything lights up uh, whether my H bridge is hooked up or not um, I've got some NPN some PNP and some more NPN uh, they're uh, SN108Ns and, and P's, PNP and NPN transistors. Uh, but anyways, that's not what you guys are here to see. Um, this is a, uh, like I said, this is just a little test circuit with a 555 timer, uh, capacitor, some resistors, and some wires. And I got the LED on here to know when my board is up and running. Um, I can change how fast or slow that goes uh, by the resistance. I know you can't see that, but it is flashing very fast at that point. <coughs> now, um, let's, I've got the positive negative to my H bridge hooked up. This is my input. Um, it's not going to be this 11.1 uh, .1 volt, uh, 24. It's 2200 milliamps per hour, 24.4 watts per hour, however you want to say that. Um, this is not going to be my input. Uh, everyone already knows that my input uh, is this uh, rectifier here uh, that I've got a 680 microfarad 200 volt capacitor hooked up to it, it using that as a smoothing capacitor. And I've got a uh, start capacitor and a run capacitor. I'm using those uh, different ways, but I'm just using them for their capacitance uh, to hold off. Uh, well, anyways, back to what I'm working on here. So, uh, none of my outputs here, this is my three phase outputs here, and I've got it all to where it'll fire at the same time and this will be uh, negative all at the same time. So I've got my positive and my negative, all three, on each side. What's the matter, Pete? You're hungry. Okay, okay, give me just a minute. Give me just a minute, buddy. Okay? All right, thank you. Sorry, my cat's hungry. Uh, go give him some food here in a minute. I know you're hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So I've got my, this is in between my two and six here uh, on my 555. Um, of course, I've got a little capacitance uh, set up here uh, that I can do. I've got three different speeds here. I can go uh, slow, a little bit faster, a little bit. A little bit faster than that, and and full speed. You can't even see that one. I know, son. I heard you. I'll be there in just a minute, okay? So it doesn't work as well as when my uh, <coughs> inverter here, my or my H bridge is hooked up. Uh, so, anyways, let's go ahead and hook this up and. I will show you how this works. Alright, so I have plugged up 
or hooked up my negative wire. Now it's running. I have output to these three wires here, uh, positive output, and of course I've got a diode and uh, wire running back down here to my negative so that I can tell when the lights are flashing. Uh, now when this is on, this is off. And I can show you that here uh, using uh, pin 7. Um, off on that positive and on on that negative. So they do fluctuate back and forth. Uh, which is exactly how this is supposed to work. Uh, when this is off, this is on. When when this is on, this one's off. When this one's off, this one's on. And when this one's off, this one's on. It's this, these two are the same as these two. And then this one is reversed from this one. And it's, uh, it's a different transistor. But nevertheless, um, it's exactly what I have to have for this. So... Uh, this is just a video, like I said. This is, you know, showing my H bridge is working now. Um, I'm not. This is not my controller. I don't want y'all to confuse everything and then start talking a bunch of crap, saying, "Oh, well, you got that resistor in the wrong place, and why you got them capacitors coming off of pin six, and you're supposed to go from pin two to pin seven, or from pin two to pin six. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I'm doing. So it flashed so fast right there that you can't even, oh, you can barely see it in the video, but you can't, yeah, you can see it there. And that's because I've got my negative fluctuating a little, just a hair slower than my positive is. Uh, but anyways, see, positive and negative. But that doesn't mean that this has stopped working. It just means I'm, I'm holding the circuit in place from wherever it's at. Uh, anyway. So, like I said, this is not... Jesus. I, you know what? I'm, I'm just... I'm really so sick of this shit. I really am. You know, how close are you giving up, man? How close are you to telling everybody to go kiss off and screw you and and uh, you can go to hell and everything else that you want to tell all these people, all these idiots that you're going to share this with the world with. The world doesn't deserve this. I don't know why I'm even making these videos anymore, honestly. I really don't. I should just continue sharing everything privately tell y'all to kiss my ass because I don't care anymore. It's not like I'm making money off of YouTube. Everybody knows how that went. But oh, if I say anything about money, then I'm a scam artist. I really don't care anymore. So for the people out there that do care, I'm going to continue and keep on and show you my little circuit. <clears throat> don't need this 104 capacitor uh, going from pin 5 to the negative. I don't have to have that. Uh, there's there's a few things here that are a little unnecessary, um, but I put it there anyways. And I ran out of room, you know, so I basically just ran uh, jumper wire from 2 over to here and uh, from 6 and 7 over to here to put resistance between my 6 and 7. Uh, and to go from uh, pin my what is that six there yeah pin six that is hooked up to pin two and negative and blah 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 but anyways uh, I've got two four uh, 1k resistors here and then two 1k resistors here on uh, pin 7 and of course I've got my uh, 
I don't remember what that is. Uh, 5804 no, or something, I don't know. A little diode here. I didn't need really much of anything. There's not a lot of voltage or current running through the circuit. Um, it's about 12 volts. I think this uh, 555, it's a, it's a P. Any 555P, so it'll handle, uh, I think, 16 volts, uh, 500 milliamps, something like that. Uh, I know I'm pushing a lot more current into it than I'm supposed to, but I don't have it exactly wired the way um, ever, most people wire things in. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, I've got pin one, negative, yeah. Yeah, my pin two right here goes to my jumper wire here uh, to the negative side of the capacitors, and these are just uh, well, one's a hundred microfarad, fifty volt, and the other one's a forty-seven microfarad, twenty-five volt. And it's really it doesn't matter about the voltage on this. I'm just using them for their capacitance. Uh, you know how long it takes to build up before it spits out the power so um, so that I can make my uh, my pulse uh, fire in when I want it to and hold the resistance uh, on both uh, pin pin 5 and uh, pin 7 and this goes to pin six, uh, and and that resistance there, uh, it's got two thousand ohms, like I said, on here, and two thousand ohms on here. And if you'll notice, let me use this. This side right here, uh, that has the two thousand ohms on it, and the diode that runs back to the negative. My input, uh, this right here, this goes to pin six. Now, pin six also goes to the uh, positive side of this capacitor, and then the negative side of the capacitor, of course, goes to the negative side of my rail. I've got my jumper wires here from positive to negative. Uh, this isn't part of the circuit, that's just keeping my positive and negative on both sides of the board. Uh, so I can jump onto it at any time. Um, but you'll notice here, uh, pin five uh, comes over here. My my output here, pin five, uh, comes over here to pin five is not my output. I'm sorry. <laughs> pin three is my output. It runs here, but pin five also runs uh, to my output as well, um, and of course, I've got a, a 220 ohm resistor in between uh, my LED and this output because this is too much voltage and uh, well, uh, current to the, it would just blow this LED. I've already went through uh, two of them or three of them on this circuit. I had to uh, raise up my resistor. I was only using you know a few, yeah, not very much. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's less than 100 ohms, though. Uh, anyways, negative here and also negative going to uh, the negative on this capacitor uh, in parallel with the positive going to here. So, this is actually negative input. Even though it comes off the positive, the beginning of it is the negative. So, the negative is going to come out. This is negative. Um, now on the positive side, it comes out and it goes to this side, these three gates. Um, you know, you've got your uh, gate, source, uh, gate, drain, and source, and then gate, source, and drain, and then uh, gate, drain, and source. Or, I'm sorry, gate, source, and drain. Anyways, anyways. The diagram on this isn't really as hard as it looks. Um, looks like I've got a broken connection. Yep, the kids have been out here again. I've got a broken connection right here. 
which is why there's so much solder on all this because it's it's been smacked around by the kids a bunch of times so this is my little test circuit here like I said um, you know I didn't want y'all to think that I haven't been able to do anything or haven't been doing anything um, I have and I'm just about done and like I said um, I can speed it up uh, that's low speed right here's medium speed and then this right here is basically uh, just so fast you, you really can't see it um, you can't see how fast this is really flashing uh, may, it looks like you, you can might be able to see it on here I don't know anyways and that's just uh, like I said that's just coming off of pin 7 here uh, I'm adding extra capacitance between is that 7 or is that 6? yeah 7 I'm adding capacitance between 2 and 7 where my resistance is which is also where my other side of the capacitance goes anyways anybody that knows how to oscillate a 555 timer will know what I'm talking about uh, anybody else should you know if they're planning on building a circuit with these then uh, of course uh, by all means print out a data sheet 100 pages you only need a few of the pages but you get to print off 100 of them so uh, I would like to give a special thanks uh, to a man named Omar David M Munoz I hope I'm pr pronouncing that correct uh, he did a senior project on uh, three phase variable frequency drives and I read up on a lot of his work and uh, I don't think this design is exactly like his um, but I'm sure it's really close uh, I don't know about my my timer circuit here that I've just using to test this so I can feed the gates on here um, now if I had three of these circuits hooked up then I could run all of these exactly how it would fire into the motor so right now it's just all three firing at the same time but this one can't be negative and yeah oh, okay it just came on, on, on wired yeah, it's acting up. I've got my I've got a bad connection right there. But this one can't be negative while this one's positive. It'll it'll burn up. It'll get too hot. Uh, it could explode from the uh, corner here. And I've had that happen quite a bit. I've got these IGBTs, and they uh, oh no, this is well, I don't know where they go. Yeah, I've got these IGBTs and they, yeah, they have a tendency to do that, but they're very powerful, very reliable. Uh, if you wire them up wrong, they'll blow up. So always wear safety glasses uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, any type of project. Uh, if you're working on anything, then you need to have safety glasses on. Um, this is not a dangerous circuit at this point right here. If I had the voltage uh, going in here uh, a little higher, the current a little higher, uh, then it would be a dangerous circuit probably. Um, I'm just getting my frequency from here. Uh, this is not, like I said, this is not my controller. Um, this right here is my controller. And it is an Arduino Uno R3. Uh, different companies make it. Uh, this one here particularly came from Elegoo. Uh, but it is an Arduino Uno R3 board. And it's uh, it's a uh, it's definitely a uh, new process or new technology that everyone needs to get into. Um, I don't know where my other prototype board is. Let's see if I can find. Uh, see if I can find one right here, real quick. I'll show you. Oh, there we go. There's my prototype board right there. Um, so I can build my circuit on that, and the uh, pins on it just plug right into the top of this uh, Arduino right here really nice and convenient so 
anyways, this is going to be my controller, or it is my controller, um, and I'll have to use uh, six of the pins to go to here. Show this one positive while this one's negative, and then this one negative while this one's positive, and then this one's going to be the same as the first. It'll be positive while this one's negative. So I'll have two positive and a negative, and it'll switch off back and forth every every sequence. So, and I think it has to do that quite a few times uh, in one second. And it's capable of doing it thousands of times in one second. Um, and that's basically how uh, they stopped everyone from being able to do this. Because uh, if you don't study all this for a month or two, then you won't know how to do it. And I'm pretty positive I just answered a whole bunch of questions that people had, uh, hopefully. Um, but like I said, uh, this is my H-Bridge. It's complete. I've got to, got to do just a tad bit of repair right here. Uh, looks like it got smashed into, I don't know. There's no telling what happened. Uh, most of the time it's the kids when this stuff happens. I shut and lock the door, but you know, you know how kids are. So, I hope you guys liked the video. Um,